So now that we can create a tile map of grass, I'll show you how easy it is to add some other tiles to this. And you might already have done this yourself because it's very, very easy. Um, if you select the level manager and you go to the map elements, you can add a size to it. Let's say that there should be two instead of one. And this one should be called sand. And then we go to the sprites and select the environment and take one of our sand tiles like that and create a prefab from it. When that prefab is created, we open the level manager and we take the sand tile and place it right there. And then we need to get a color. So we open up our map again and we select some kind of yellow color. And then we simply take that color and we draw on it. And we draw it on the map somewhere like that. Like so. And then we save our map. And we need to save it and replace the original one. When that is done, we take this color and take the hex color and copy it. And we go to Unity and change the color here to the same color and make sure it's the, under the right tile. And this means when we play the game now, we suddenly have sand on our map. So that's how fast we can actually generate uh, other tiles on our map or generate another kind of map. Um, yeah, so that's how we generate sand. And I think you might have done this yourself in between videos though. So the next thing I would like to do is to generate some trees. Um, first of all, I need to make a new map because right now we have the map for you know, map data. I, I have the map for the green, the grass and the sand and the trees needs to be placed on top of it. So we need another layer. So just make this one into two, element one and uh, zero and one and open up your paint program or whatever you're using. I'm going to create a new layer here because I want the trees to not be part of the green area. So it's easier for me to do this in Photoshop because I have two layers. So I can just take and draw on this layer on top. So I'm going to select some kind of brown color. It fits the like wood. Like that, something like that. And then I'll place one tree right there. The reason that I'm placing it right there is because I know it should start just on top of the, the sand path. And I think the pivot point might be off, so it's going to be placed here or up here. But because I'm placing it just on top of the path, I know where it should be placed and I can adjust the pivot point so that it is going to be placed exactly where I want it. And then later we can try to generate more trees like that. But for now, make one, one dot. And I'm going to save this alone without the green stuff. I'm going to save it alone so I only get this. So file, save as. It doesn't need to be transparent. You can just make it white or whatever. And I'm going to make map layer 2. So map layer 2 is going to contain our trees. When I've done that, I will take my maps and add map layer 2 to element 1 here. Like so. And then I'll have to add my tree. So I need to change the size of the map elements to 3. And then I need to go to my sprites and my environment. Oh, sorry. Environment and trees and take one tree and draw it there. So this is my first tree. This tree needs to be changed into a prefab. So take and drag it into the environment folder. Where is it? It went there. And then we need to do the same where we select the level manager, open up the new sand and call it tree one. And pull the tree to the prefab and change the color to the brown color we just used, like so. And save. So with this done, and if we play it now, see we should have a tree somewhere. Oh yeah, now the error popped up. You see, it says that map layer 2 is not readable. And that's because I forgot to change it to be readable. So I need to go to my maps, select map layer 2, change the texture type to default, and put it read right here, and apply. With that done, should be able to play it without any problems there. And you can see the tree is placed wrong. It was supposed to be placed up here, but instead it was placed down here to the left. So you need to adjust the pivot point to make this work. With the game open without stopping it, you need to select the sprites folder and find the tree. And select that tree. So with that done, you go to the pivot point when you selected it. 
and set it to custom. And here we have to put in some custom numbers. So I've tested this out, and last time I tested, I think 0 0.23 in the X was okay. And for Y, I put 0 0.35 though. So we can test this, and if it's not perfect, we can always adjust these numbers. With the game open, you press apply, and you'll see it doesn't really work because it was supposed to be up here, not down here. So we need to adjust it so that it's placed up here instead. So the Y value is actually very wrong. So if we increase it, where does it go then? Then it goes down, so we need to decrease it. So let's say 0 0.20, for example. Apply. It's still not far high enough, and you can see it's behind the tiles. We'll fix that later. But for now, we can select it and put the order in layer to 10, for example, so it's on top of the tiles. We will do this from the code, of course. But select the tree sprite again and put it to 0 0.1 maybe, let's see, apply, still not there, I think I want it in the middle of the tile though, not sure, maybe in the bottom, let's, let's just test 0 0.05, okay, so I'm going to try with just 0, see what it is, yeah, so now it's basically in the bottom of the tile, um, I'm going to leave it there I think, uh, but if you don't want it there, you can simply just adjust it so that it goes further up. Maybe you want it exactly in the center of the tile. Maybe you want more to lift or right or whatever. Um, but I, I think it's fine for me that it's placed right there. So with that said, you'll see that it keeps the values because it's something we changed in the asset folder. So now when I play, it's actually placed on the tile. Let's just select here and make it 10 again. It's placed on the tile where we wanted it just on top of the actual path here like so just on top of the path okay um, with that done we need to make sure that it has the right value in the sort order and we can do that from our script so now the actual um, what are they called uh, the tags are coming in handy because if it's a tree we need to change the sort order and we can do that from Let's see here. In here we can say if new tile the tag oh new element what's it called the tag equals three. So that tag we are looking for is actually the tag we have right here. And this one is ta tile tag tile three one. Let's just call it three. Doesn't matter more has the same tag. We can just look for three and then all our trees is going to do this. So this is our tile tag tree. With that tile tag, we can say, well, we need to get the game object, the transform, on a get component, I mean, sprite renderer, dot sorting order. So right here, I can just set it to 10, right? Well, if I save it and put it to 10 right here after we have set the position, we instantiate the object, we set the position correctly, by using this position up here. If it's a tree we're placing, we set the sorting order to 10. And yeah, then we set it to the child object. Well, if we would do this, yeah, it's fine right here. When we have it here, we can see the tree now. But what if we had more trees up here? Well, what then? Let's try. If I would take this brown one and just paint lots of trees like so, right there. And if I save this and replace my old map layer 2 and play the game again, let's see. What then? Well, then the trees are not looking very good, are they? The, you can see the, the, what is it called? The trunk of the tree is basically on top of the tree that is in front of it, right? If we look at this area here, right? This one, we are expect we expecting it to look like this, where the tree is behind it. We're not expecting it to look something like this, right? So we need to write some code that fixes this, and the code will be to look at the Y position, and based on that Y position, we will set the sorting order. So the sorting order is going to be equal to height, and how do we get the height? Well, the height is based on the map width and height, so we can make it height is equal to map data the first map every map is going to be equal large so map zero height so look at our green map here 
Let me take the height of it. And we take the width. We need the width later, so let's just use it now. There. So now we have the width and height of our map. And we can use that here by saying that we should take our height. <coughs> Sorry. Take our height. Multiply by 2. Minus y. Multiply by 2. So why are we doing like this? We need our player to be able to walk between our trees. And if we play the game, I haven't saved so it doesn't fit yet. If if we don't multiply by 2, well then the player, if he walks behind this tree, he'll need to get his um, set his sorting order to something between this tree and this tree. So if this tree has 10 and this has 9, then the player can't go in, be in between these two trees because there's no value, a whole number between 10 and 9. But if this one has the value of 10 and this one has 8, well, then the player can have a value that's called 9 when he's walked behind this tree. So he's behind this tree, but in front of this one, right? So that's why we need to multiply by 2 uh, with the y value so that every time we walk between a tree, we will get a value between this tree and this tree as a sorting order as the player. So we can walk between the trees by right here behind them. I hope that makes sense. Maybe it's a bad, bad explanation. So why do we minus? Well, the y value is zero. If I would just, if I wouldn't minus, then we would get the same result as we have right now, because these trees will be behind these ones because we start from the bottom and move up. So this one will have a lower value than this one up here. So to make sure the lower one has a higher value than the one that comes after it, we minus to reverse the values. So if we go here now and save, and stop and play the game. Then now our trees looks exactly as we expect them to look. They're standing in front of each other and um, it looks like actual forest, actual forest. So right now we're not doing anything with our player. So he can walk in here and he can walk under the under the trees and everything. But we will fix it so that he can walk behind them and walk up here and walk behind these up here as well. But right now he's not changing any uh, values. So we also need to place the other trees and we need to pick another color for those. So select your uh, bitmap or whatever and change the color a little and copy the new color. And we'll need to use that color. So I'm going to clear out the map I had before and do the exact same thing as before where I place one tree so that I can know where it's going to be placed. I'm going to save the new map layer too. And based on the new color, I can go to my level, level manager and add one more and change the color to the new color I just created. And then I need to make a prefab of this one. Go to prefabs and add this one to environment. And 3.2 is there now. So I can go to my level manager and use 3.2. Oh, there we go. So you can see it should be placed up here instead of to the left and on the on the sand. So we have to do the same, go to sprites, environment, find your tree. And then we have to go to custom. And maybe if I put this on zero, it's kind of okay. And X, if I put that on zero, it moves to the left side. Uh, not too much, 0 0.3, apply, ah, zero point. To five, I guess. I don't know, nah, that's not very good. 0 0.2. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that placement. So when you've done that, we can go to our bitmap and we can start creating some more colors. So basically, or some more trees. Let's try to use this tree right here. We can generate a lot of these trees. And then we need the other color. Now I deleted it here, so I can go just go to Unity and select the color there. Copy it. I think the two last F isn't needed in Photoshop, or Photoshop doesn't understand it, I think. Do like that. And place these trees here. So let's try to save this. And do like that. So if we go back here. We now have different kinds of trees 
around each other. So now we can actually place different kinds of trees. So that's what I want to do in this video. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to look in the description below to see how you can actually win a G910 Logitech keyboard. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page. So please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.